Hey, what's up YouTube? Casual Yugi Stuff here. Welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! opening video. In today's video, we will be pack battling the man, the myth, the absolute legend in the Yu-Gi-Oh! community, Roxin34. So thank you so much, Roxin, for allowing us to pack battle you. I think we pack battled a couple of years ago, actually, before he absolutely exploded the Yu-Gi-Oh! community and started recording some of the most insane videos that are out there on YouTube. He's probably one of the biggest figures at the moment, so massive thanks for allowing us to battle you, my friend. I wish you all the best of luck. And uh, yeah, honestly, really incredible kudos to what you're doing for the community. You are a massive inspiration for the smaller channels like myself, and I speak on behalf of many others as well. So hats off to you, my friend. And yeah, so guys, we'll be giving away some cards today. So if you're coming over from Ruxin's uh, video or Ruxin's channel in general, consider subscribing. I'll be giving away a couple of PSA graded cards for you guys. Um, try and treat you nice. So I'm giving away a Karibo. Uh, this is a first edition Portuguese Karibo as well as a card blocker. So there'll be two different winners in today's video. All that you need to do is leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel, and also leave a comment down below as to who do you think won the pack battle today. Did I win casual Yugi stuff with my casual crew, or was it Ruxin34, guys? It's all that you need to do. Turn on the notification bell as well to not miss any of my future videos if you enjoy my content, where we basically do three or four videos a week of openings, uh, mail day, just kind of general collectability in, in Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, guys. So keep it casual, Ruxin. I wish you all the best of luck with your pulls. And uh, let's reveal what we'll be pack battling. Okay then, so I sent Ruxin some pretty cool stuff to open today in the battle. So I sent him 12 Shining Darkness booster packs. These are first edition blisters. We'll be opening 12 each of these. I have not yet pulled the Ghost Rare, so I'm really hoping to pull the Ghost Rare from this set. Uh, really nice set. Uh, one of Yu-Gi-Oh 5Ds is finest, so um, that'll be fun to open. And secondly, we'll be opening these Abyss Rising 1st Edition Blister Packs. I sent him 24 of these, so we're opening a booster box worth of Abyss Rising. Some really nice ultimate rares in here. I am renowned for opening and pulling a lot of ultimate rares on the channel. In fact, we've pulled over 250 so far on the channel. We'll keep adding to the counter, hopefully. Uh, that should be really good fun, Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal. And continuing on Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal theme, guys, we will be opening a very special booster box. So I sent Ruxin for the final piece that we'll be battling, a Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy first edition booster box. I think he might have opened one of these already. I definitely have not. I've opened some unlimited booster packs, so this should be a very exciting booster box, which is really expensive. And I think it's one of those uh, Zexal sets that is, yeah, one of the best. So hopefully you guys enjoy all of those packs. In total, we've got 48. We've got, oh, we're opening 60 packs today. Is that right? 24, 24, and 12. Yes, 60 booster packs, guys. So keep it casual, Ruxin. Once again, just wanted to say thank you. And let's see who wins this pack battle. All right, then, guys. So starting off, I'm going to crack open these blister packs. Instead of having to make you watch hours of me trying to crack these open, I'm just going to edit it. So I'm going to cut the video, open all these blisters, and get all the packs out. So then we can just open them um, a lot easier. Okay guys, so there we go. There are our 24 packs of Abyss Rising first edition booster packs. Let's just lay them flat down on the table and pick out these. So this is, you could technically say, round one of the battle. So 24 first edition Abyss Rising packs. Let's go. I'm pretty nervous for this video, guys, just because it's Ruxin. He is like huge. So let's see if we can beat him in a pack battle. That would just be incredible. So battle break, battle break. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Who's going to break in this battle? We have to win. We have to beat him. Especially after, you know, the victory that we had the first time around. Um, check that video, by the way. Link in the um, information bubble. It was such a long time ago. I don't, I don't even think I had face cam when I was when I was doing those back in the day. So, Mog Mole. Guys, we have an ultimate rare. Let's go. We have an ulti. Mecha Sea Dragon. Heroic Advance. Fishborg Planter. Spellbook of Eternity. So here we go, guys. It's a trap. It's that wacky alchemy ultimate rare. Let's go. Nice. That will help definitely for the battle. Uh, we'll sleeve it up. It's our first ulti of the video. Hopefully first of many to come. We will take it. Not an expensive card at all. But it's still a nice looking ulti with the alchemic magician. Uh, so that's really good. That's brilliant. We'll uh, start off second pack in with an ultimate rare. I mean, that's why they call me the ultimate rare king, guys. <laughs> Okay, so tripod fish, punny penguin, uh, noble arms again. So just another rare, not to worry, not a problem. Let's see if we can 
get something out of our third pack, or is this our fourth pack? I think this might be our fourth pack, I'm not sure. Ape, Magician, Different Dimension, Deep Sea Trench, Stoic of Prophecy, Spellbook Star. Again, with this uh, another magic card, which is alright. So yeah, I'm really nervous, like I say. I, I just I just am. I'm never nervous to do videos, but <laughs> because this could be a potentially huge um, pull rate as well. I'm opening some pretty incredible stuff. Yumi no Taurus. But I'm even more excited to see what Ruxin's going to pull um, out of his cards as well. So, yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal um, is, a, is, a, is a series that I really enjoy. Definitely check it out if you like watching anime and haven't seen the Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal anime. You definitely should. So, Snowdust Giant. It's a really cool, really cool anime. So many, so many twists and turns and crazy stories, storylines in the Zexal anime. Um, you should definitely um, watch it, guys, if you are, you know, considering doing so, or if you just enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh! in general. Mind Pollutant, it's not that bad. What I thought of when watching it was, oh, it's just going to be one of those modern Yu-Gi-Ohs, it's not OG, it's not GX, you know. Even 5Ds was, you know, okay, but it wasn't, wasn't the best. Um, I really rate it, and I think it's probably my favourite anime. Abyss Storm and Red Dragon Ninja, super rare, nice. I don't think there is much value in this set, other than the... Um, Dyson Sphere Ultimate, Ultimate Red. We've got some um, other nice cars like the. Um, what are they called? Mermails. We've got the Mermails in here as well. There is Madolce um, Queen Tiramisu, which is huge. Uh, Madolce Palooza. And Gagagigo the Risen. So that's the Gagagigo and Gogiga Gagagigo from like Dark Crisis. Pretty cool. So Madolce Palooza, which we'll sleeve up. Really nice. We'll get into our next pack, guys. Let's see if we can uh, maybe get a ghost or another couple of ultimate rares. We've already got an ulti, which is great. Battle break. Again with the battle break. <laughs> it's a sign. Umi no Taurus and Snowman Creator. Come on, Abyss Rising. 24 packs of Abyss Rising. This is round one. Let's see if we can beat him out of a round one, guys. Oh, Punny Penguin, Snow Dust Giant. So nothing out of that one. Abyss Rising, number Chaos number 32, Shark Break, Vice on the front cover there. Okay, Bull Blader, Stoic of Prophecy, House Dustin, Mog Mole, and just Mermail Abyss Turge. Rage of the Deep Sea King. Come on, Abyss Rising. Can we get like a Ghost Rare or something? That'd be epic if we could. We have already pulled the Ghost Rare on the channel. We've pulled, I think, over 20 Ghost Rares on the channel so far. Um, but man, if we're going to pull anything good, it has to be out of this video. Alright. And as you can probably tell, if you're coming over from Ruxin's channel, yes, I'm not from the US, I'm from the UK. So it's uh, even more of a battle, because the battle of the British versus the American. Man, we're not doing very well. Abyss Pike. Out of that. How many more packs do we have? We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 left. Wow, we've really, we've really churned through these Abyss Rising. See if we can get something else out of these. Snow Dragon, Abyss Scale, Heroic Advance, Mermail Abyss Gund. So just another rare. Loads of Mermails. The aquatic cards are pretty fun. Um, I'm a definite fan of water monsters myself. Let me know in the comments what's your favourite sort of archetype from the Zexal uh, anime Bull Blader. Uh, Mogmol, Gagagiga the Risen, and Abyss Sphere. So another trap card. We're not doing amazing. We're pulling all these... Uh, trap cards but it's a beautiful artwork on there with a mermel abyss lind i think in there so four hollows so far an ulti two supers and an ultra can we get anything else out of this next pack Madolce croftsant battle break planet pathfinder snow dragon gagaga caesar and just another rare come on abyss rising we need you we need to get something good out of these mecha sea dragon plasian Heroic Advance, Tripod Fish, Punny Penguin, just another trap, so we've got a Bubble Bringer, uh, super rare, we really are getting all the traps aren't we, man, this is not good, this is not good for the battle guys, but it's a foil, nonetheless, we will take it, okay, Abyss Rising, let's get the Madolce, Queen Tiramisu, that would really do us well, Madolce Croftson, Stoic of Prophecy, House Dustin, Mog Mole, another Mermail, Abyssgund, so just another rare. Come on, five more packs to go of Abyss Rising. Can we get something epic? 
Planet Pathfinder. I think we have a hollow. Snow Dragon. Mermail. Heroic Advance. And Attack the Moon. So Yugi's Attack the Moon. When he actually uses that effect. When he duels Mako. Back in Duelist Kingdom. <laughs> so yeah, we're really getting all the magic and trap cards today. So four more packs of Abyss Rising. Can we get something else other than a trap card or a spell card? All right, Medolce Ticket, Bull Blader, Mogmol, Mind Pollutant. Nope. Come on, guys. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm. So... It's a life or death situation. It really is. Fish Borg Planter, Ape Magician, Bull Blader. Just another rare. Snowdust Dragon, which is kind of related to Stardust Dragon, I suppose. Abyss Rising again. Two more packs of these, and then we will jump into, like I say, those um, Shining Darkness, I think. Planet Pathfinder. Log Mole. Here we go. Ooh, Bahamut Shark. Very nice secret rare there. That's actually um, a decent card. It's got some value in it, and it's a nice secret rare. So decent. Nice. So we did get a secret rare. Which is technically one per booster box. Um, and we pulled a Bahamut Shark. Nice. I will take that. So we've got one more booster pack to go from Abyss Rising. Um, and then we'll open the Shining Darkness. Which is uh, a bit more expensive than these. So if we want to get anything that's going to be out of there. Stoic of Prophecy. Heroic Challenger. And just a Snow Dust Giant. Okay. So not terrible out of our Abyss Rising. We've got an Ultra Rare. One, two, uh, three, four Supers. Pretty much a booster box rate um, and a Bahamut Shark as well. All right, guys, let's move on to round two, where we open the Shining Darkness blister packs. Let me just take them out and show you all 12 of these first edition blisters. I think they're around about <laughs> between like $30, $40 a blister, um, which is insane. So let's see what else we can get. Probably going to take the L on this, but hopefully we get a Blackwing Dragon ulti or even a Ghost Rare. Let me just crack these open to save some time for you guys. Okay guys, so there they are, 12 Shining Darkness 1st Edition Booster Packs to be cracked open. Just make sure 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh my god, this is half of a booster box guys worth of Shining Darkness 1st Edition Packs. Let's see what we can get. Let's get the Ghost Rare or even like an Ultimate Rare as I say. Oh my god, this is insane. Okay. Keep it casual. That is our motto. We keep it casual. Let's pull something epic. So we have a Dragon Laser, Archfiend Interceptor, Card Breaker, and a Nimble Sunfish Super Rare. So we start off with a Super Rare, Nimble Sunfish. Not bad. Not a card that you see every day. I definitely don't think I've ever pulled this card before, which is nice. So Nimble Sunfish. Pretty cool. The Shining Darkness. It's all about Black Wing Dragon. Um, Infernity Doom Dragon is pretty good as well. Um, there's not many other good cards in this set. There's a few Infernity Secret Rares which are decent. What would Pekka Power Break? Memory Crush King and just a Delta Try. So yeah, as I say, I think we've opened about 100 of these blisters in previous videos and we've not yet pulled Blackwing Dragon. I opened a few for a friend and we pulled him uh, the Ultimate Rare. So all we need now is to get the Ghost Rare. Hopefully we get it. And we haven't sent it to Ruxin. Gen X controller. Guard Mines. So just another rare. This is a cool card. Hunter of Black Feathers. And Crevice into the different dimension. Okay. Alright. Next pack. Let's see what we can do. Next pack. Come on. Archfiend um, Interceptor. Blossom Bombardment. Lena, the Light Charmer. Nice. I think that's worth a bit. And another Delta Try. So we'll keep out Lena, the Light Charmer. I think she's a good one. She's a good common, at least, out of this set. Um, and I think there's some good Toad. I think, is there a good Toad that comes out of here, maybe? I'm not entirely sure. Card Breaker. Bl oh my god, Blossom Bombardment. Morphtronic Vacuum. We've definitely got a foil here. Ooh, it's just a Bird of Roses Super Rare with Battery Man Fuel Cell. And uh, Flare Resonator. So, Bird of Roses... It's not Black Wing Dragon or um, Black Rose Dragon. It's Bird of Roses. So, come on, Shining Darkness. We need something good. We need something decent. So, we've got Alina, the Light Charmer. Fairy Archer. Phantom Hand. Infinity Mirage. Nice. I think this was reprinted. Was it in Maximum Gold that this was reprinted? 
Well, this one's very OC, but th this used to be like a $20 card. Not anymore um, because of the reprint. Um, but that's not too bad. It's a third super rare. We want something better than a super rare, guys. So we're halfway in. We've still got six more first edition packs to go. Oh, come on. X Saber Palmuro. Lena the Light Charmer again. And an Infernity Mirage again. So back to back Infernity Mirages isn't bad. Nice Infernity Mirage. We'll take that. Decent on value, but no real uh, star hitter here. Come on, guys. We need a Synchro. There we go. Synchro Magnet. Are we going to bring in the Synchros with our Magnet? Power Break. Ronin Toadin. I think that's the card I was talking about. Just Backwing Ghibli. Infernity Avenger. What Fox and Bio Falcon. Four more packs to go, guys. This has not gone to plan. We've not pulled many ultis. We've pulled one. Um, we pulled a Secret Rare. We need to get something better than what we've pulled so far. If we want to have a chance of beating Roxin 34. Morphtronic Vacuum. Forbidden Graveyard. Gen X Controller. And a Saber Vault Secret Rare. Nice. So there we go. Quacky Meru Shield. I've never seen this card either. Saber Vault. Um, each face-up X Saber monster on the field gains 100 attack times its level and loses 100 defense. Not bad. Saber Vault. Nice. So we're actually getting quite a few foils from these, but nothing of extreme value uh, yet. Where is Blackwing Dragon? I'll take the Ultra Rare at this stage. <laughs> okay, come on. Ronin Toden, Blackwing Ghibli, Dragon Laser, Core Overclock. So another foil. My my God, we're um, we're doing well on the foils, but we're just not getting the cards that you'd expect. Core Overclock, super rare. Not bad. Let's move these commons out of the way. Two more boosters, guys. I really need your luck. Smash the like button. We're not going to beat Ruxin like this. We need to. We need to up our game. Come on. Where is our uh, next pull? Our next good pull, guys. Okay. Morphtronic Vacuum, Genix Controller. Infernity Reflector and just a Synchro Magnet with Blackwing Gust, the Black Blast. <sighs> Last pack of the Shining Darkness. Man, this has been rough. But we can still turn it around. Anything's possible. Oof, looks good. Blackwing, Dragon Laser, Archfiend, Cardbreaker, Infernity Inferno. So we didn't get anything out of our last pack, guys. Which really sucks, but um, we will next crack open our Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy boost box. Let's just make some room and then we will crack that open. Okay, guys, so we'll crack open the Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy boost box now, guys. We want to pull Chaos number 100. No, is it Chaos number 107? Yeah, it's, no, it's just a number 107. The Chaos number 107 comes out of Primal Origin. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty rare boost box, guys. <laughs> Let's get something amazing, guys. Let's do it. Let's crack open this booster box. Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. Wow. Let's see what we can get. Uh, this beautiful set. Very nice. This box had a bit of damage on it as well, so it's perfect to open. Look at that. Some pretty severe damage. So, let's see if the packs are okay inside of here. Yes, they are indeed. We'll crack that open. Set that down like so. Then we'll put our booster box just to the side. We'll start with the right hand side of these and let's see what we can get out of our Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. So I don't know what the ratios are for these North American boxes, but the European Zexal boxes aren't very consistent with their ratios. Sometimes you can skip out on getting ultimate rares. So High Tide on Fire Island, Mecha Phantom Beast, Shark Kraken, Ice Beast, Zephyrine. Um, so yeah, just a really cool set. Um, we have pulled the Ghost Rare in Unlimited. So, getting it in first edition is, again, a very expensive card. Even as an ultimate rare, it's expensive. What other good cards come in here? I think there's some Phantom Beast cool cards. Uh, Aerial Recharge, Gagaga -ga -ga Wind, and Triphoceratops. Batchy, Batchy, Batchy. Okay. <laughs> Pretty weird card. This card, this pack's backwards for some strange reason, so I guess we'll open that next. Why was this pack backwards? What does it mean? What does that mean, guys? Shark Fortress, Brotherhood of the Fire Fist, Takakawa Knight, Gagaga Wind, uh, do a barrel roll. There we go, Mecha Phantom Beast Turtle Racer. 
So, very nice. Very cool. Mecha Phantom Beast Turtle Racer. Nice big turtle to sleeve up. Brilliant. <laughs> nice. So, I'll move away our commons. Alright, come on. Let's get something great. Like, I'm happy with our pulls, but I'm not, like, ecstatic because I'm not being greedy. I just really want to win the battle. Abyss Scale of the Michizi, Battle in Boxer, Shark Fortress, Tidal Dragon. Ooh, Gauntlet Launcher, Ultimate Rare, nice. So we did get an ulti, um, Gauntlet Launcher, which isn't bad, I suppose. But I don't think this is an expensive one at all. This is like a, uh, like a $10 ulti, guys. That hurts, to be fair. I saw the XYZ and thought it could have been the number 107, but we'll take Gauntlet Launcher. Not the end of the world. So we're still potentially due a secret and a ghost potentially out of these. So Memory Loss, the High Tide of the Fire Island, Mega like Phantom Beast, Brotherhood of the Fire Fist, Aurora Wing, Battle in Boxer, Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. Just looks like a very strange artwork on the pack for some reason. Just looks a bit strange. Okay, Legendary Atlantean Trident, Memory Loss, Radius. Triceratops and King of the Feral Imps. So another one of Yugi's cards. Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. All right. Okay. Come on. Shark Fortress. Mecha Phantom Beast. Lightning Dragon Ruler. Mimic. Icy Beast and Rank Up Magic Baryon's Force. Nice card. Very beautiful card. Used in the anime um, a lot. So we'll take a Rank Up Magic Baron's Force. Not a very expensive one, but again, we'll take it. Come on. Come on, Ghosty. Tawakawa Knight. A high Tide of Fire Island. Green Dustin. Battle and Boxer. And Sacred Sword of Seven Stars. Nice name for a card. Sacred Sword of Seven Stars. Decent. Let's leave that up. Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. Okay. Mazar, what are you going to bring us, Mr. Mazar? Blizzard Falcon, Sonic Warrior, Harpy's Pet Phantasmal Dragon. That's a pretty cool looking card. So it's the Harpy card um, for Harpy's Pet Baby Dragon. Okay. Alright. We have Battle Boxer, Counter Punch, Aerial Recharge, Wheel of Prophecy, Magnum Shield. Two more packs on this right hand side. Battle and Boxer Mimic. Memory Loss. Big Whale. That's a pretty cool looking card. Big Whale. 3,000 defense. Pretty cool. These cards smell a bit, a bit too modern for me. <laughs> so we've got a uh, last pack on the right hand side. Come on, we need a ghost. We need a ghost to beat Ruxin. Legendary Atlantean. Radius the Half Moon Dragon. And we got a duck fighter. A duck fighter. D-U-C-K. Ah, oh, duck fighter. <laughs> Alright, we'll take it. We'll take the duck fighter. Not great. So we've still got 12 more of these packs. Can we get something insane? I don't know. I hope so. We haven't had much luck today, unfortunately. Okay, let's see. Panther shark. Shark kraken. Little fairy. So, just another Feral Imp King there. Alright, this pack feels feels a bit thick. What's inside of here? Alright, guys. Okie dokie. Lightning Dragon Ruler of Drafts. Mimimic. Big Whale. Man, there's not many foils whatsoever out of this box so far. <laughs> I thought for Zexor you got more foils, but interestingly, that's not been the case. Okay. Bullizard Falcon, Sonic Warrior, Shark Fortress, Battling Boxer, Lead, Yoki. Alright guys. Only a few more packs to go. The, the battle's gone really quickly. Um, we've come out of the docks too quick. I think Ruxin might have the better of us. Unless we do something epic. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Rhino. Not like that, Mermail, Abyss Oshea. <sighs> come on. Gotta believe. Never give up in the heart of the cards, guys. Always believe on opening poster packs. Anything could happen. Memory loss. Altitude Knight and Mega Phantom Beast Mega Raptor. So we've got another Phantom Beast. There's quite a few Phantom Beasts in here. 
or at least those kind of aerial um, cards. Nice. All right, next pack. Mega Phantom Beast, Stealth Ray, Mimic, uh, Harpy's Pet Bead, the Phantasmal Dragon. Oh god, so we've only got like uh, five more packs, I think. Six more packs of these. Can we pull something epic? I hope so. I really hope so. Alright. High Tide on Fire Island. Green Dustin. Do a barrel roll. I don't know. This battle definitely got away from us. Defy all limits. Tachyon Galaxy. Abyss Scale, the Mishizuki. Sonic Warrior, Shark Fortress, and just a Fairy Cheer Girl. At least we got the cheer up, we got the cheerleaders out. Fairy Cheer Girl supporting us. Still no, still no secret rare or ghost rare. What's going on? Okay, um, Panther Shark, Aerial Recharge, and a Noble Arms of Destiny Super Rare. Not bad. Another Super Rare. I'll have to take it, I suppose. So many super rares. Where's our secret? Or even ghost. Mimimic. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist. Memory loss. Go, go, go. Gigas. Here we go. We got an XYZ. It's another gauntlet launcher. No, you see, you can't be serious. Gauntlet launcher. We got the double gauntlet launcher booster box. We got the ultimate and the ultra. Oh my god. That is awful. That is so bad. What is my luck? Oh god. Two more packs to go. This has been terrible. Oh wow. It's been funny at the same time that it's been terrible, but I'm, I'm crying inside. Radius the Half Moon Dragon. Battle and Boxer. Number 69 Heraldry Crest. Nice. And our last pack. Of this whole video, guys, battling rocks in 34, we've done so bad, but last pack magic, smash the like button if you haven't already, guys. Okay, okay. Takawaka Knights, High Tide on Fire Island, Battling Boxer, Wheel of Prophecy. Oh, wow, so we didn't get a secret rare. So we got an ulti, two ultras out of that box. Um, so we got an ulti, an ultra gauntlet launcher. <laughs> My new troll card, and we've got a, another ultra rare rank up magic, Baryon's Force. So, guys, let's just quickly review all of our pulls. We got some okay pulls against Ruxin, not the best. I think he has an easy win here. We've got Gauntlet Launcher, Ultimate Rare, Ultra, Rank Up Magic, a few more super rares from our box, uh, Overclock, Saber Vault from uh, Shining Darkness, Two Mirage, uh, Lena, um, Bahamut Shark, and the Wacky Alchemy. Not bad. But yeah, definitely could have been better. Wasn't the best by all means. Guys, make sure if you enjoyed this video that you drop a like. Thanks to Ruxin. Can't believe we packed battle Ruxin, guys. But we did so poorly on our pulls. Remember the giveaway. I'm giving away a card blocker PSA 7 and Karibo Portuguese PSA 8. All that you need to do if you're coming over from Ruxin's channel and you enjoy the content, drop a like, comment, subscribe, and um, let us know who won the battle in the comment section below. But I'm probably just going to go and comment that he won already because my pulls were terrible. Unless, by some miracle, he does worse than us. So guys, thank you so much for tuning into this video. Once again, thanks to Ruxin. Keep it casual. This was Casual Yugi Stuff. My name is Jamie, by the way. And I'll see you all in the next video if you decide to watch and stick around. Peace, everyone. Bye for now. Take care. Oh, I'm gonna lose the soul,